Are you filming? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll be ready, dude. Sick. Okay, so there was a bunch of comments on the video of um I'm going to first off I'm going to teach a class this weekend. So the next video is gonna be of that. So we're actually gonna have a little bit more, you know, we're gonna have some stuff going on. For this one, we had a bunch of comments on the one we did a couple videos ago, me reacting to crashes to react to some of my best wins, best passes, etc. So we're gonna do that today. Talking to with the AMA because Ollie came up and he said, you're the effing man. And I was like, yeah. And uh, on TV, you couldn't really hear it, but you could make out what I said. So they, they had it talking to me after that. Yeah. There, we'll watch it. We'll watch the first moto. I won the overall, but we'll just watch the recap of the first moto. They probably won't even show me very much. But. Yeah, it's only a minute. Of our first 250 moto here from Indiana, Austin Parker out front early. Yeah. Tips over, and just a bad spot here. He's got his right leg stuck under the bike in that rut, so it took him a while to get going. And then Adam Cicerillo has a brief tip over as well. This track pretty tricky. But Webb would make the best of a bad situation. He starts coming through in a hurry. First, you have Alex Martin. He'll fight through both Cicerillo and Sabachi. He'll move him up to third for a while. I was out front That's right here, I believe. I must have got the whole shot. I don't really remember. And then Sabachi would get him back. Oh! I went down there in the second moto in that exact spot. Holds on to the lead, but actually continues to extend it from there. The real question was, not if he was going to win it. Parker had no control. It was really for second and third and fourth. So Machi gets back around Martin. Now here's Webb from way back. Oh, I remember this. He goes down. <clears throat> so close. But ends up tipping over. And uh, Webb would actually end up fifth in that moto. Thomas would get him after he picked himself up. So a good run for Thomas for fourth. It's pretty crazy. Parker unchallenged in this moto. The 17-year-old from Missouri. That's the first time he's ever won one of these. I won by like... 30 seconds. Maybe not what I won by, but at one point in that race, I had like a 30 second lead. It's pretty gnarly. You like, I was coming down off one of the hills and I see like Webb, whoever was in second, like 30 seconds back. I was like, damn, <laughs> that was, it was pretty gnarly. That was probably one of the like, it was, that was cool. That was really sick. This is probably one of the best races I've ever had. I was really stoked on this one. So, Fernandez obviously, oh here, I'll just back it up. I hated these. They were so quiet and so awkward. People are trying to talk to me on the line. I'm like, dude, don't talk to me right now. So in this situation, I think I'm back 10 points from Dylan or no, maybe, maybe less than him for the championship. This is the year that I tore my stomach all up at the next round, the last race, but this was the second to last race. Um, and I knew I had to be Dylan, but obviously Dylan's really fast. Here, doing exactly what he needed to do. I wasn't expecting that. So good for Dylan. He can make it at the perfect first lap. Fifth. Keep himself up front. And watch Fortner by Christian Craig. My corner speed at this race was yeah, was pretty Christian unreal. Did, uh, beginning of the race going. Oh. Oh, that, that was nasty. Oh, that was nasty. Hold up. That was a good pass. I was ripping this corner all day. The beginning of the race goes oh my god, that was fast. He he slow through the whoops, but that was fast. Good pass. Uh, he goes down right here. Yeah, he goes starting to adapt the foot through the corner. He goes down that rut, just grabbed it. That was an aggressive rut corner right there. Battle for the lead, now watch Fortner. Right here. Uh... <laughs> I wasn't trying to take him out, but if I bumped him off the track and he lost a couple positions, I wasn't going to lose any sleep over it um, because I knew I had to, 
if I just beat him, which, I mean, he would saw like a seven point lead or something on me, which was gonna be hard to close up. So I was like, hey, if I can put a couple riders between us. I really didn't, right here, I didn't plan on going to the inside over this next jump, or after this jump. Get after Ferrandez here. Well, it's right here, I ripped the tear off and I landed and I was actually pretty close to him. And I was like, next corner is pretty wide. Like it was pretty, I could get a good angle. Right here, I was right here is probably whenever I made the decision to go for it. He's all right. Yeah. <laughs> okay, maybe not laying on the ground, but if he was off and he stalled the bike when he ran off the track or something, I wasn't going to be too disappointed about it. But uh, yeah, I, I mean, still, he ended up winning the championship. I blew myself out of the next race, but this was a good, this was a good race. I rode really well at this race. They probably don't even show me anymore, but, but I rode really good at this race. This track, I hate, well, actually, this track wasn't bad, but... Most of the day races, they're so terrible. Like, actually, this track wasn't very good. Those flat turns were terrible. All he said, focus. Dude, I got it. I got it. Come on. Come on. He, I had it. I was stoked. That was a good one. I was pumped on that one. Dylan was not very happy that I beat him. He didn't, uh, he didn't like say anything. He wasn't mad about the pass, but he was not happy that I beat him. But that was, I didn't beat Dylan very much. I think I only beat him straight up. I beat him like twice or three times maybe. But I didn't beat him very much, so to pass him and beat him, I mean, he was defending champ that year. He was the champ the year before, and then obviously he was again this year. That felt really good. So that's probably one of my best feeling race wins as far as, like, passing somebody that Dylan being the man at that, the guy at that time in the 250 class, that felt, that, that felt good. What's that supposed to mean? Dave Skylock. The interview? Mm -hmm. Kim Jong Un? Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> you don't get it? <laughs> no, you're just so funny, but like. <laughs> you're just... Random. <sighs> so, right. yeah, that's Mer a video. Oh. What? 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 So, you talk about merch printing this week. Well, yeah. Okay. So. That's the video. I hope you enjoyed first off. Um, those are a few of my races wins. Um, some of the, that last one was really like a cool race for me. I rode really good that race. Um, the, uh, the outdoor one was sick just cause it was my first one. The one at Tampa was sick because it was also my first supercross win. Um, the one in Atlanta, the triple count was sick just because I got on the last lap. And then, uh, what was the other one? Oh, the heat race in Atlanta last year was super sick just because obviously I got on the last lap, last corner basically of that race too. So that was, uh, those are some, maybe not my absolute best. This last one was one of the better ones, but those are some of my, I guess my favorite race wins, um, or passes or whatever. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Merch. I know. I know. It's been like three months. You can blame Gas for that. It's all his fault. Um, anything wrong that happens or if something's delayed or anything that happens, just aim your comments toward Gas because it's his fault, you know? Um... He, uh, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, so yeah, we're, merch is being printed right now. We have all the, all the shirts, all the sizes, all the hoodies, all the, I think that's hats. I think that's beanies, beanies. 
shirts, hoodies, hats, beanies. Anything else? No. That's it, right? Yeah. Maybe sticker packs. Maybe sticker packs. We're, we're still, but the shirts and the hats and all the actual apparel are being printed right now. Um, hopefully they'll be done at the beginning of next week or sometime next week. We can shoot them. Obviously get our website set up and we'll be good to go. So yeah, merch is, is coming by, by the time. Um, obviously this video is going to be, it, it won't be ready from by this video, but by the next video, it should be, it should be done and we should have been be shooting it in the process of getting everything ready. So I would say another, you know, week, week and a half, we'll be good to go. Gas is probably thinking more like two weeks, but we got to get this process going. I know you guys want some merch. I want some merch. The new design is sick. It's really sick, actually. I like it a lot. It's, it's completely, completely different from our last, uh, our last run, or our last, you know, line of merch. Because Gas pretty... has sick ideas. Gas thinks he has sick ideas, but, um, I mean, if I remember right, I came up with all the ideas from the, for this last, for this next job. <laughs> Okay, that's it. Stay tuned for next uh, next video. Next one's gonna be of a class I'm teaching in Texas. Those are always fun. I always like teaching classes, so um, we're gonna go do that uh, this weekend. So it'll be for next week's video. Merch is being made. Man, thank you guys for supporting us. We're uh, I'm not racing right now a lot, so obviously we're trying to push all fun. I know we're kind of we want to drop merch quicker and sooner. We're we're kind of figuring it out. Uh, we ended up getting our DBA, so we're officially all funds a company now. So hopefully that'll make it make it easier to you know speed up the processing time of getting merch and getting stuff developed. But uh, we we're not skimping out on um, the quality of everything. We want good heavy, good heavy weight, you know, minimal shrinking when you wash them shirts. Uh, that's what we both want. That's what we both wear. So we're not gonna you know our stuff might be a little bit expensive as far as other writers merch or whatever but um it's not really a it's not really just a austin fortner merch brand it's all fun it's kind of a, a a brand in itself so um yeah we want it we want our stuff to be good quality so from what i've heard from comments or seen from comments all you guys are happy with them so yeah we're just going to keep that rolling so yeah hope you enjoyed see you next friday